Thank you, viewers. Thank you for stopping by. I am Tutor Cletus Okoli. In today's mathematics class, we shall be taking a look at exponential equation. And the question that we shall be solving today is if x to the power of x is equal to x raised to power 3 all over 4, then what should be the value of x? I encourage you to watch the video till the end. Meanwhile, if it is your first time of stopping by, kindly subscribe to my channel for exciting videos. We saw this is going to be a brief video. Watch till the end. Solution to this question. I am given to solve x raised to power x equal to x raised to power 3 over 4. The first step that I will take here is to divide both sides by x to the power of 3 over 4. And that means I shall divide this side by x to the power of 3 over 4 and I shall also divide the right hand side by x to the power of 3 over 4. My target to do this is to make x to be one side instead of being by the right hand side and to the left hand side. And looking at this you can see with me that exactly what I have by the numerator is what I have at the denominator. Meaning that both of them can cancel out to give me just one by the right hand side. And by the left, I shall now have x to the power x all over x to the power 3 over 4. Very good. By law of indices, if I have a to the power of x all over um, a to the power of y. By law of indices, this is equal to a to the power of x minus y. This is the division law of indices. And that is when the basis are the same, we simply subtract the power provided they are divided. I will apply the same law to the left hand side here. We are our now. You can see that the basis are the same. The base and the denominator is x and the base and the denominator is x. Therefore, I am going to write this as x, okay, to the power of x. Then, I am applying the law by the right hand side. So, which now will give me 3 all over 4. Okay, x to the power of x minus 3 all over 4. And this is equal to 1. As it is now, I can now apply the logarithm law, okay? So I will now apply logarithm to both sides. That is going to give me the log of x to the power of x minus 3 all over 4 equal to the log of 1. Alright. Among the laws of logarithm, we have it that the log of any number or the log of 1 to any base is always equal to 0. Logarithm of 1 to any base is equal to 0. And also, we have it that when we get a log of x to power a, that it is equal to the exponential multiplying the log. So a log x. What it means is that log x to the power a is equal to a to log x. I am going to also apply it to the left hand side. So I will apply this law to the left hand side and apply this to the right hand side. Therefore from the left I will now have the power the exponent here is x minus 3 over 4 then log x equal to log of 1 to any base is 0. So log 1 here will also give me 0. Very good. At this point, if I give you a minus 1 into x equal to 0, 
What it means is that a minus y is equal to zero, and also x is equal to zero. Therefore, I can write, putting it into the brackets like this, that my x minus three all over four is equal to zero, and this implies that x. This means that x is equal to three over four. The first value of x is out. Also, for the second bracket, for the second bracket, that is, I have made the first bracket equal to zero. Then, second bracket is if I have the log of x equal to zero. By definition of logarithm, logarithm is defined as the log of n to base a equal to x if a, a log of the log of a number to base a is equal to x it means that x to the power a which is the base is equal to the number this is a very beautiful definition about logarithms so applying that here whenever i am given a log without a base it assumes a natural base and that is to base 10 so I can now write this as the log of x to base 10, which is equal to 0. Applying this definition of logarithm, it will now be the base raised to the power 0. So 10 to the power 0 will now be equal to x, according to this. x is n. 0 here now is our... 0 now here is our x here. Yeah? Okay, then the base here, which is 10, is my a. So now we say the base raised to the power x. So 10 raised to the power 0. The base raised to the power x is equal to n. So 10 raised to the power 0 is equal to x. That is what I have done here. And therefore, by this, any according to the law of indices that talks about uh, 0 as a power, that is, if I have any number raised to power 0, that it is equal to 1, okay? Therefore, we can simply say that the value of x here now is equal to 1. Second value of x. What we are saying in x is that, that 10 raised to power 0 is 1, alright? And secondly, we have gotten the first value of x, which is 3 over 4. In conclusion, we can now say, that in the exponential equation that we are solving, which is x to the power x is equal to x to the power of 3 over 4. That the values of x are first one, 3 over 4, and 1. This is our answer. But then we want to check the answer within the few minutes. Check result. Check result. What we want to do, we want to substitute the values of x in the position of x to see if it will give us the two hand size equal. So the question we are given is x to the power of x equal to x to the power of 3 all over 4. Anywhere I see x, I am going to put 3 over 4. So I'm checking for the first value of x. That is when x is equal to 3 over 4. I will now have it here, 3 over 4 to the power of 3 over 4. Okay, that is x to the power of x. I am replacing the value of x. And by the right hand side, it is going to be 3 over 4. Then already it has power 3 over 4. If you like, you put it in bracket, it doesn't matter. Now, looking at what I have here. By law of indices that if I have n to the power n equal to n to the power n, it implies that the base is equal to the base, or the bases are equal. That is, the base by the right is equal to the base by the left. So we can now conclude that the base by the right, by the left, which is 3 over 4, is equal to the base by the right, which is 3 over 4, authenticating that the two sides of the equation are equal, making that our answer for x equal to 3 over 4 is very correct. We check for when x is equal to 1. 
when x is equal to 1. Still putting it into the values of, to the position of x. I will now have x to power x written as 1 to power 1. Beautiful. Equal to. By the right hand side, x will now be 1 to the power of 3 over 4. But anything raised to power 1 is that. If I write a to the power 1, it is equal to a. If I write 2 to the power 1, it is equal to 2. Meaning that 1 raised to the power 1 is 1. And also 1 raised to the power 3 over 4 because we said any number that is the power of 1 is still 1. So therefore we have 1. Looking at this, 1 is equal to 1, justifying the second value of x. So in conclusion, the values of x here are 1 and 3 over 4 for this question. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Do like my videos and also subscribe if it is your first time of watching my video. I remember to talk to Sokoli. God bless you.